All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. And we're looking at the uh, HyperX Cloud Mix ear pad installation right now. So what I've done here is I've already removed one of the ear pads just to show you what is going to be involved. So the ear pad itself has a skirting on the back. You can see that right there. That skirting is what will slot into this slot on the side of the headphone. And it goes all the way around and it kind of hugs on like that to the headphone. You can see that right there on the other ear pad. <clears throat> now important to note that the HyperX Cloud Mix ear pads are smaller than your typical HyperX ear pads. So if you're looking for a set of replacement HyperX Cloud Mix ear pads, um, don't go buying HyperX Alpha, HyperX Alpha S, HyperX Flight, HyperX Stinger ear pads. They're not going to fit. Those pads are too big. So you really need to focus on the ones that specifically say Cloud Mix. All right, so first things first is removing the ear pads. All you're going to do is take your two fingers and your thumb, grab the ear pad itself, and you're just going to peel backwards, and you'll see that the skirting just peels out of the slot on the headphone. Do that to both sides. There we go. If this video is helping you out, Monty the AHG Dog wants you to smash that like button and share it with a friend, because this is how he gets more biscuits. Don't forget that 60% of the time, it's a great idea every time to subscribe and hit those bell notifications and stay in the loop with all of our news, reviews, and how-tos. Okay, so the ear pads are basically exactly the same, so there's no left or right ear pad. However, you do want to pay attention to the bottom because you will see that there is a stitching on the bottom, and that stitching tells you it's for the bottom. On the top, there is no stitching, so that means the top. Right, now, looking at the headphones, what you want to do is you notice the skirting on the back here. That skirting is going to go into this slot right here. What we want to do is we want to start at the top. And the reason why we're starting at the top is because the headband is here. The first half of the installation is going to go really easily to get it into place. <coughs> but the second half, where the most of the ear pad is already in place, you have to start pulling a little bit harder. It does get a little bit more difficult to get the, the second half finished and done. So we want that to be down on the side here or at the bottom where there's nothing in the way while we're pulling etc. So looking at the ear pad, first thing we want to do is make this lip. Now these ear pads are, are right off the headphone. Um, when you get a new set of ear pads, you're not going to have, you can see that there's already a lip created here. You're not going to have that. It's most likely just going to be flat. And if it's flat, you have to make a lip first because that makes it easier to get it into the slot. So we're just going to do this at the top. You know, do it for 15, 20 seconds or so. You can also do, uh, you might need to stretch it, so you can stretch it along the sides like this. And then you can also stretch it across like that. Because once you have new ear pads, they will they'll be a bit tighter. <clears throat> so we're gonna get it into the top first. So you can see I put that in here. Going around, it's all in place. Once that's in place, I want to grip and I want to flip over and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my finger, I'm going to put it underneath the ear pad, and I'm basically aiming just to get my finger here underneath the skirting, and I'm going to push up, and as I push up and go around, this skirting just falls into this slot here. So let's start over, <clears throat> get that in place. On the top, we are good to go there. Oh. There we go, flip it over. Start here, you can see it's pushing up. As I push up, it just falls into place. When you get to the bottom here, it's not that hard to get it in place, but it is harder than before. And then, there we go. Now, last thing you wanna do is check. You wanna check the slot to make sure that all the edges of the ear pad have gone into it. If they haven't, you can use your fingernail and just push it through the slot and it'll push it into the place. When you can also just do a little rotation like that, and that will sometimes wiggle it in place. Finally, you want to look at the stitching on the bottom, and you want to align it with the middle of the bottom of that headphone or earphone. That's roughly right. <clears throat> All right, number two. Let's look. Do this edge first. Give it a little stretch along. <clears throat> and outwards. Now you can stretch with medium or a little bit more force. The uh, skirting is made tough. And all right, so we got that in place on top first. That's good to go. Flip that over. 
here we go. I'm using one finger, some people might want to use two. Alright, so you can see here that everything's in place except for this right there. See that? So all I'm gonna do is take my fingernail, just go like that, and then now it's in. Now it's in. I'm gonna wiggle it a bit to adjust it, and then all I want to do is line up these ear pads with each other. So let's say that's just about that's about right ish. And then this is done. If you have any questions, drop them down below.